come from Ghana, the northern part of Ghana, Upper West to be precise. I'm a singer, entertainer, and a performer. Hello, my name is Wiyala, the lioness of Africa, and I'm breaking out of the box with Remy. Hey, never see more than Tama. Yet a Jimber Jinayala. Yay! Masi! When I was growing up, at a very young age, I saw Madonna on television singing, I always fell in love with you, and all that. I'm like, whoa, who is this woman? Wow, I love this song. Then I start imitating and dancing, looking at myself in the mirror and all that. But um, I come from a traditional home. Uh, my grandfather used to be the chief of our village, Fonsi. The traditional drumming and dancing every Friday, people will come into the palace to uh, hail him or praise him. Every Friday is a tradition. You sing songs of praises for the chief. And growing up in the, the palace, of course, you, um, I'm prone to all the traditional songs the dance, the, 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 the language and the music and the proverbs. But at the same time, I'm watching television. Even though we had um, three hours, 30 minutes of television in the village, it was a generator. Yeah. So after TV, after watching all these musicians on the television, I start imitating. But at the same time, I still have my traditional music. So I managed to blend the two. So I play my xylophones with an electronic guitar. And it's nice. After watching TV for one uh, for three hours, 30 minutes, and you go like, I'm going to be on TV one day, I want to sing out. People are like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep dreaming, keep dreaming in your dreams and all that. young girl trying to do music. Some people brand that profession, if you're a female, as prostitution at the highest level. Like first class prostitution in a way. Yes, because they think you're going to be out there showing your things and shaking it and uh, parading yourself for, your, uh, for the highest bidder. And I said, no, that's not what I want to do. I love to sing, I want to dance and entertain people. That's all I want to do. One day I, I, I was watching television for the first time. Oh, do you want to be a star? Do you want to sing? You win money, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, I want to go, but it's in the big city, I can't. So I couldn't go. The second year, I wanted to go, I couldn't. Third year, the same thing. The fourth and the fifth edition, I decided to uh, save some money uh, with the help uh, from my mom. I left my little town. I went to the big city. I auditioned. I was on standby, but it was a no. So I went back home. The next year, I went back. I was on standby again, and it was a no. <laughs> so after two years, the third year, I went back again. <laughs> I kept trying. I said, no, I'm not going to give up. In the process, going from one karaoke to another, and people started paying to see me perform. I had a, a text message. Oh, do you want to be a star, blah, 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 put the phone icons and all that. I'm like, oh no, not again. This is the fourth year. But my manager by then, he said, if you want something, sometimes you, you have to keep trying. Who knows, this could be your time. So after uh, debating whether to go, because if I go, I'll be in a group. But I want to be a solo act. So I went, I auditioned. By this time round, because of the shows I've been performing and uh, singing all these big songs, it gave me uh, enough uh, um, uh, um, strength uh, vocally to actually sing very well. So I went and I sang some of the songs I've been singing at these joints, and it was a yes, yes, yes. I made it through. I was in a group called Black and Peach, <laughs> and we won the competition, hands down. And after one year, I went solo because the group wasn't working. And from there, here I am. Yeah. I talk plenty, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I need a man to rock my body. A big strong man to rock my body. So I write.
write about things uh, around me and sometimes too I just decide to write about naughty things like rock my body <laughs> because yes I write about good good things but I'm a human being there's a bit of naughtiness in me somewhere uh-huh so that's that <laughs> When I uh, uh, released Rock My Body, some people had issues, they had problems. And I'm like, excuse me, if a guy had released that song, will you be going all like, eh, eh, eh. Guys release songs, they have girls naked, bouncing and shaking it. I've released a song saying, I need a man to rock my body. Why? It's because I'm a female. Excuse me, zip it. Did I say that? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I will sing anything that I feel like singing. You can't tell me what to sing and what not to sing just because, oh, you are a woman and you should do this, you should do that. Excuse me, the last time I checked, yes, I'm a woman, but the woman, we decided to give birth to you. I'm carrying you in my womb. I could get rid of you. Sorry, I could get rid of you, but I didn't. That was my choice. After giving birth to you, you come out and turn around and tell me, you are a woman, you shouldn't do this. <laughs> if I, <laughs> so don't even go there, I don't even want to go on. If not, now I'll be sounding too feminist. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's like, we, 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 we show love in there, bring you out. So give us that love and respect back. Allow us to be women. We are, allow us to be women. We have our own thing, you have your own thing. Let's just respect each other. We can't be the same in, a, in, a, in certain uh, ways. A woman will always be a woman, a man will always be a man, but the respect and equal opportunities, let's all have it. The greatest thing I've ever done, and I'll always be happy, is to be true to myself and to be me. And for me, when I'm me, that's when I tend to deliver. And growing up, I've always loved my short hair. So I cut my hair, see my face, yes. so that you see who you're talking to. And use my body uh, the way I want to use it. Yes, I'm masculine and, oh, so how am I going to use this to my advantage? Yes, I'm going to even gym and flex it. Deal with me, this is who I am. I'm not going to change for anybody. If you don't like me, go away. But I won't let you take my smile and my happiness away. For that one, I, I was very stubborn. And I'm still stubborn about that sometimes. <laughs> I've grown up in Funsi, my village. You are in the class with more than 10 girls. By the time you get to uh, GSS 1, only two girls will be in the class, if not one. Yes, because they're all getting married. They just dash them out. A girl is not a goat or an animal to just go and hunt and shoot you know, or whatever. You need to allow them to grow up and choose who they want to be with. Before I came uh, to London, uh, a friend of mine is a teacher, Isa Abu. They had to arrest a young man for forcefully uh, uh, taking a child from the school. And that was the second child. Now this child is not even mentally <laughs> well. She's a bit... Uh, she's one of these children with special needs. Now, how will such a child be a mother? Fortunately, the police got involved, so I was still to go there and talk to them. So these things are just happening behind my house. I'm popular and I can use my voice to, uh, to throw light on these things and let it out. There's a saying that take the, 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 the dirty clothes out there, all the bags hidden and chewing your things, they all run away. Once the light hits on them, they all uh, die. So these are some of the things that I, I feel um, passionate about and I feel like if I put my voice on this, it will help at least maybe one or two children will be uh, fine. I might not be able to help everybody, but I use my popularity to do something for my community. And I do it because I really, really care. Not because I'm like, oh, 
I'm famous and I'm doing this. Oh, check me out. I'm saving children. Oh, no, 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 no. I've gone to the extent of even uh, 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 um, um, associating um, with myself, with some of the children, and taking them, taking responsibilities. Because sometimes, if you, just like I say, if you don't do it, your action, they won't, they won't listen. So that's how it is. You marry off a young girl who could have been a nurse, a doctor, somebody better in the community to help another child. You've killed a long line, long, in fact, the chain, it will keep ha happening. So if we, if we don't stop it now, there's no future for us. We will continue to be poor and poor, yet we are the cause of our own problems. There's something we can do. We just have to keep preaching the news and then keep talking to people. Education, not only in the classroom, but also in the homes. Both class, we call it formal and informal. It's not only in the classroom. People need to be educated, and people also need uh, 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 to show by their actions. I'm not going to waste my time explaining myself to you, but I'm going to do. And by my actions, you will know what I'm about. And if you still play dumb not to understand, that is your own cup of tea. Enjoy yourself somewhere. Life is too short, and I always say that I don't allow negative people in my head. I always raise the rent and kick them out. No room for them, because Life is beautiful. You should keep smiling with all the difficulties that comes, but keep moving forward and just be you.